Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gord. In our today's video, we will talk about dividing polynomials using long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first problem, and then later on, we will continue solving another problem. So this is the problem, guys. We have 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 divided by 2x plus 4. So this is your dividend. And this is your divisor. So basically, guys, um, if you don't know how to divide polynomials using long division, it is the same as the long division that you have learned from your elementary days on how to divide whole numbers. Okay? So, ang nangyari lang dito, it's in algebraic form. So, let's start. First thing you need to do is to divide the leading coefficients of your dividend and your divisor. So, saan yung leading, coef leading coefficient tulay? leading terms okay the first thing you need to do is to divide the leading terms of your dividend and divisor ito yung leading term ng iyong dividend and this is the leading term of your divisor so this will become 6x squared divided by 2x I will use this part para sa ating ano, minimal solution or side solution 6 divided by 2 is 3 the next square divided by x is simply x. So, ilalagyan natin siya dito. And this 3x will serve as the partial quotient. So, it will be placed here. We have here 3x. Okay? Now, this 3x will be distributed or multiplied 1 by 1 by, by 2x and 4. So, what will happen is that we have 3x times 2x that is equal to 6x squared. And this one, ito naman, after 2x, 4 naman. 3x times 4, that is plus 12x. So, alam naman natin na after multiplying, we have to subtract. So, yun lang siya, guys. Rotation lang siya. Unang ginawa natin, we divide. We divide the leading terms. And then, after dividing, multiply. And then, lastly, subtract. Ito yung ating rotation. Now, in, multiple, in close yung parenthesis to guys, ah, hindi kayo, parang hindi kayo magkamali. Always in close by the parenthesis. By parenthesis, yung nakuha yung sagot sa pag-multiply. Okay? So that is 6x squared minus 6x. Kung hapansin mo, magiging 0 yan. Okay? 0. And then here, yung ating um, negative 2x minus 12x, it will become negative 14x. Okay? So, ang nangyari kasi dyan, guys, ito, ha. Pakita ko lang sa inyo, yung negative 2x, 2x natin, tapos minus 12x. Itong 12x natin magiging negative siya, magiging negative 2x. Tapos magiging plus 2 plus negative 12x. So, same sign, magiging same sign sila. So, mag-add tayo, yung tendency magiging 14x yan. Okay? So, tuloy natin dito. So, we have negative 14x. Then after that, you will bring down negative 28. So, negative 28. Ngayon, what's next? Ito na yung bagong dividend mo. So, same rotation. Divide tayo. Divide natin yung bagong leading term, which is negative 14x, by the leading term of your divisor. Okay, so we have negative 14. I will use this part. Negative 14x divided by 2x. So, negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7, and then x over x is 0, or 1. So, negative 7, so this will become minus 7. Okay? So, what we have here, ito naman, after dividing, multiply ulit, negative 7 times 2x, that is negative, negative 14x. Next, negative 7 times 4, that is negative 28. So, multiply natin, ah, subtract natin, pero yung close mo sa ano, parenthesis to, ha. Ito na, baka malito kayo. Ano nangyari dito, guys? Ito, ha. Magbabago sila ng sign. Dito kasi nagbago ng sign, pero hindi ko na pinakita. Pero dito kasi, ito magiging addition, ito magiging addition, ito magiging addition din. Okay, ganun yung rule natin dyan. So, as you can see, 
Negative 14x plus 14x positive na yun, eh. So, 0. 0 na yan. Negative 28 plus positive 28. That is 0. So, pag naging 0 na yun, stop na tayo. Ibig sabihin, your remainder is 0. Again, your remainder is 0. And the quotient is this. The quotient. Lagyan natin na. Eh. The quotient. is equal to 3x minus 7. Or, what natin gawin dito is that we have 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 divided by 2x plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 7. And that's it, guys. So, let's continue solving the next problem. Okay, let's have another problem. For the next problem, same rotation, divide the leading terms, multiply, and then subtract. Let's try. Okay. So let's try this one. Eh? Leading term, leading term. 3x cubed divided by 3x. So let's natin dito para meron kayong side solution. 3x cubed divided by 3x. So 3 over 3 is 1. X squared over x cubed over x is x squared. So, ang nalagay natin dito is x squared. Ito sa pangalawa. So, what's next, sir? Ang next naman natin na ito. Multiply. 1 by 1. Okay? So, multiply natin. It will become this one. x squared times 3x. That is 3x cubed. x squared minus, uh, times negative 2x. That is negative 2x square. So, subtract natin. Pero don't forget na ano siya? I-enclose sa parenthesis. Sige, pakita ko sa inyo. Magbabago ng sign to. Magiging addition to. Ito magiging subtraction. Or negative. Ito magiging positive. So, what will happen is that we have na 3x cubed plus negative 3x. Magiging 0 na yan guys. 0 na to. 0. Ito naman. 4x squared plus positive 2x squared that is equal to 6x squared. Then bring down, by say sa tayo ah, negative 7x. So ito namin pa ni bagong leading coefficient mo, 6x squared divided by 3x. So 6x squared divided by 3x. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. So ito na siya. Lagyan mo dito, plus 2x. Multiply. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times negative 2 is minus 4x. Yan. Subtract. Then, enclose by parenthesis. Change tire ng operation. Plus. Ito magiging negative. Ito magiging positive. So, what will happen? 6x squared plus negative 6x squared. Magiging 0 only yan, guys. Negative 7x plus positive 7x, that is, ah, plus positive 4x, that is negative 3x. Then bring down itong last one natin, which is negative 5. Divide ulit yung ating leading coefficient. We have, dito na tayo sa part na to. Uh, we have negative 3x over 3x, that is definitely negative 1. So dito lagi natin minus... 1. Okay. So, what will happen is this. Multiply natin. Negative times, negative 1 times 3x, that is negative 3x. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is positive 2. Okay. Subtract ulit natin. Enclose by parenthesis. Tandaan, babagay natin yung operation. Plus, itong negative natin magiging positive. Itong positive natin magiging negative. So, what will happen is this. Negative 3x plus 3x, that is 0. 0 na yun, 0. Negative 5 plus, okay, plus, negative 2 na yan, that is negative 7. Ito yung magiging remainder natin. So, paano ngayon natin sulit yung sagot natin? Meron tayong format, guys. <coughs> Ito yung magiging format natin, ha? Ang format natin is quotient. Tapos, 
positive na kasi ano to ginagamit ng format to kapag mayroong remainder cosine positive negative remainder over divisor so to express our final answer ganito ang gagawin nyo guys okay uh, copy natin yung ating div div uh, divisor 3 x cube plus 4 x square minus 7x minus 5 divided by 3x minus 2 is equal to, ito na, follow natin to copy mo na natin yung quotient yung quotient natin is gamitin yung ibang kulay x square plus 2x kasi baka hinihanapin sa inyo to minus 1 ito na, remainder muna since yung remainder natin is Negative, magiging negative 7 over your divisor. That is 3x minus 2. So again, uh, quotient, ito. Since negative yung ating remainder, minus 7 over your divisor, which is 3x minus 2. So I hope guys, you learned something from this video on how to do the long division in dividing polynomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!